my next guest started acting when she was only seven years old. 90s TV fans know her as Becca Thatcher, the spunky teenager from the TV show Life Goes On, co-starring with Tony and Grammy Award winner Patti LuPone. And who could forget the huge teen love story of Becca and Chad Lowe's Jesse? Well, while attending Yale University, Kelly joined the cast of the Emmy-winning medical drama ER as med student Lucy Knight, where her character's ultimate demise uh, well, they say after season two, it was still considered, is still considered one of the most shocking moments, I'm told, in medical TV history. And Kelly says not a day goes by that someone on Twitter does not message her about that storyline. But she's also been crowned one of the queens of Hallmark Channel, starring in over two dozen movies, including her popular Haley Dean mystery series. This Saturday, Kelly is starring in a new Lifetime movie. It's called An Amish Sin. The movie is based on true events. It's the story of an Amish teenager who's being forced to marry the man who abused her as a child, and she tries to take charge of her own life. She struggles to find her identity in the process. Take a look. I don't know what to do, ma'am. I'm so wicked. Marry him. Um, and then he will be your husband. And it will be all right in God's eyes. Not that I couldn't. Rachel, a woman makes choices, and they are always hard. We want things we can't have. We make plans that will never happen. We accept, and we submit. Please welcome Kelly Martin. That's a performance there. Wow. Thank you. Happy belated birthday. Oh, thank you very much. Two weeks much. ago, celebrating birthday. How did you mark the occasion? Um, well, I basically um, spent it with my family, but when you're married to a man from Montana, you get goats for your birthday. You got a goat? Are you I serious? Got, I got two baby goats. Oh. That's pumpkin. That's pumpkin. And um, his brother, Kip, is not pictured. But yeah, that's uh, that's what I got for my birthday. We have a little suburban farm, so we have chickens and goats. Is it like a kids. petting zoo? It, it's kind of like our very own petting oh, zoo. Gosh. But hilariously, these guys are the youngest. Oh. That's, that's Kevin Bacon with oh, um, my, God. my the, daughter, Olivia. Olivia, and the pig's name is Kevin Bacon. Kevin Bacon. I love it. Yes. <laughs> Um, so yeah, and most of our animals are elderly. Like they're just, it's a bunch of sweet old animals that um, basically are raising my children because I feel like that's the best way to teach children empathy and compassion is to surround them with barnyard animals. That is, um, okay, I didn't, I had not seen the picture. I can't stop, look, look at Olivia. She knows how to handle that. What oh, is that animal? And actually during the, that's a goat. Okay, um, <laughs> what is that animal? And um, during the pandemic, they adopted her as their Aww. own because we spent so much time with them. That, that was like my solution to every day. I'm like, go be with the goats, Olivia, because I don't know what else to do with you. <laughs> so the goats, because they were kind of at the same yeah. level, their eyes, they actually started to kind of hurt her a little bit. And like, they wanted to play with her. And she's- She's a goat whisperer. She's a goat whisperer. <laughs> I'm, I'm so proud. I'm so proud. Well, it's so interesting because you have um, your two daughters, Olivia, who's six, and Margaret's 15. Yes. And then I'm thinking about what amazing mom you are. And then you played this very complicated mom um, who, as we saw in that clip, really forces her daughter to follow the line, even when there's abuse, even when there's fear, even yeah. when there's um, an unhealthy environment. What was that like to, com no comparison, obviously you're an actress, yeah. you play tough roles, yeah. but when you play a tough role like this where a mother is supposed to help protect you, yeah, and she I, doesn't. Exactly, I mean, it, was, it goes against all of my instincts yeah. as a mother, of course, but I was playing a woman who was so foreign to me, and once you put on that outfit and those boots and, and that you know bonnet, you really kind of feel what it must have been like. And she, she really had to push down all of her natural emotions yeah. in this. Um, in the end, she becomes a bit of a mama yeah. bear, um, and in the end, she does give her daughter permission to go and her blessing to go. But and... isn't that the complicated part of the story? I mean, even when I think about it, you play Rachel's mom, Sarah. You play Sarah, Rachel's mom in this, and she is a complicated figure in this, and life is not black and white. And I imagine it's always difficult when you are talking about someone's culture or someone's religion and you're portraying it. Exactly. Because it is not, everyone doesn't want to leave. But right. But then there are people who want. Right. You know, so it's, it's complicated. It's so complicated. And, um, and Rachel, my daughter in the show, is a very complicated girl, and she has the right instincts, and she ends up acting on them. And my character, who was also abused as a yeah. child, just toes the line, stays, stays in line with the family. 
and um, basically suffers. Um, and it's heartbreaking. It yeah. was a heartbreaking character to play. Um, and actually the last scene of this movie that I'm in, like I sobbed through the whole <sighs> thing. And I'm usually like, I'm usually good. I've done crying scenes my whole life. Yeah, since and I know kid. how to gauge them. Like I go in for rehearsal, I just yeah. say the lines. Master, I give a little bit of tears, but not too much. Close up, there you go, there uh -huh. they are. And then when they turn around on the other side for the other actor, I don't cry. Fine, right. This one, I cried in ev the rehearsal, in the master, in my close up, in her, all of her takes, I sobbed. Because you never stop being a mom and actually like, I can't turn that off. And so, you know, it was, um, it was interesting. It was an interesting role to play. That is, I mean, it's brilliant. Before you go, I have to ask you, life goes on reboot. Everyone's asking about it. What's the word? I know, it's in the works. It is it's, in the works. Yes, it's in the works. It's, um, I know, it's at NBC. And um, we're just a draft away, I think, from, you know, so hopefully it'll be, it'll be oh. happening. But these things take time. Oh, I know, trust you know? me, I understand that. Well, congratulations Thank on you. everything. I have to visit the farm with Olivia. Yes, yes. Thank you, Kelly, for stopping by. Be sure to watch an Amish Sin on Lifetime this Saturday night, October 29th. Thank you so much, Kelly, Thank you're amazing. You.